Pet Call is a global online community of pet lovers that is disrupting the pet industry using blockchain technology while also monetizing data about pets. So with me to explain more about Pot of Call and what actually the company is doing is the CEO and founder, Kareem Kozani. So good to have you here, Kareem. Thanks for having me, Jane. So tell me, how did you get started in the pet industry? Well, I'm a pet parent first. Um, you know, every time I used to go to supermarket or buy the pet treats or food uh, online or supermarket, I always have to read the label three, four times and think about, are they saying the truth or not? Especially knowing our pet, you know, our pet, our pets do not speak. So someone has to do that vetting job for them. And especially when you hear on TV that there's massive recalls, uh, food contaminated, uh, pets are getting sick. Some of them even died, uh, you know, heartbreaking stuff. So I wanted to see if there is a solution to it. And knowing, as you know, I'm a pet parent. So around 2016, a friend of mine told me you should perhaps look at the new technology called blockchain. I took a quick look at it. I was like, wow, this is a break, break, groundbreaking technology. It solves for trust. And that's what the problem is in the pet industry. So I went down the, the blockchain rabbit hole, as they say, and, uh, you know, the, fell in love and I combined two passions in one, blockchain and my being a pet parent and Particle was born. Awesome, okay, so explain to me how it works then. Like, and you've got a, a product, the, blog, the blockchain dog tag. So explain how the whole thing works. How do you use blockchain okay. for pet lovers? Okay, so let's start with how Particle is, what is Particle? Particle is made out of two words, PA and protocol. What we're trying to convey or accomplish here is show that in order for us to solve this massive trust problem, we need to solve, a, uh, solve it at the protocol level, at the ground level. And uh, PA and protocol created the protocol, the protocol that solves for trust in the pet industry. Um, the traditional pet industry is dead as we all know it. You know, there's, you know, transparency is not there. And we said, hey, let's create this trust protocol so we can have Anybody that wants to be transparent enough and serve this uh, rising uh, community of pet parents that are looking for truth and, uh, you know, quality products, uh, this would be the place for them to transact. At the same time, <clears throat> we are deeply committed to the ESG standards, uh, environmental social governance. Uh, you could say that we are the first people that will embed that on the blockchain and serve it as a tool for any ethical consumer or a brand or a company that is willing to serve this rising ethical consumer base. Uh, so Particle is a, an ecosystem made out of communities, not companies. So we're turning the entire pet industry into a community where pet parents get to call the shots equipped with a computer code that solves for trust. Okay. And then, it. Yeah. And then you mentioned about the recalls. In fact, there was just one this week, a recall of, of pet food. Um, so is the, there's a way to use the blockchain to make sure the products actually have in their ingredients and are created and sourced the way that they say they are. That's how you're Correct. using the blockchain? Okay. Yes. Okay. And, then, and, that, and that's the blockchain dog tag? So the blockchain dog tag is a, think of it like every technology needs to have that touch and feel. Blockchain dog tag is a perfect presentation for a regular person. We call it grandma proof that can actually enjoy the benefits of blockchain without understanding blockchain. So you take the, for instance, the blockchain dog tag, it's a pet tag. It's good for cat, cat lovers as well. Just reminding everyone. Mm -hmm. The blockchain dog tag is a simple scan QR code that any iPhone or any Android phone can do it. It basically connects your dog tag into the blockchain database. Your pet information will be stored for life on the blockchain. Unlike those old websites where you buy nice looking dog tags and three months later to go out of business and you're left with a useless serial number. Yeah. The protocol blockchain serves a lot more than that. And that also provides you the ability to store your pet's data, your pet's vital signs, your activities. Your dog walker could like uh, clock in by simply scanning it. We're making that interaction around uh, the well-being of a pet a, 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 um, a, a touch-proof, an easy one, two, three, how do I say, grandma-proof. 
Yeah, yeah. No, I, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I knew the iPhone was going to be a hit because my mom wanted one. I was like, wow, that was, <laughs> what she saw it was like, oh, that's a smartphone. Okay. <laughs> so um, how does the information get on the dog tag then? Um, the information on the dog tag is connected to uh, the immutable database. And uh, the dog tag basically just when you scan it, it just takes you to that uh, data storage and that data storage is connected to the blockchain. Mm -hmm. So every time someone in the, the protocol system needs information about the, the, the path, it, it'll scan the dog tag. The dog tag will take it to the information if they have permission, of course. Mm -hmm. For instance, vets can have information if they're allowed. The pet parent has a button that allows people or even companies to advertise to them. Uh, which we will talk about that after. Even anyone that is requesting information about the pet, the pet parent as a guardian gives them permission based on if they feel like it or not. Just like if you go to a vet, you give a vet a permission, the vet gets to see what dog treats they ate because you get to scan all of the dog foods and the dog label, the product labels, and that creates a history or we we'll call it a pet lifestyle type of thing. Um, the dog walker could also clock in and says, oh, th there's information that says the, the pet took a nice little walk at the park. And at that park, the, the temperature was around 70 degrees, the vital signs. All of this data starts creating amazing information for the vets to do a better job. And also for the ecosystem to get smarter and start extracting good information that could be used to prevent and and make uh, the pet uh, live longer and a happy life. Yeah, and, and help other pet owners too, I assume, as you gather data, everybody can kind of learn from it. So um, now you mentioned real quickly monetizing that data. How does that work? Well, think of it this way. Uh, I'm not going to call names, but the majority of these big companies are using us as product. We are the product actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we create a lot of data during the day and at night and on our daily lives. And that data is used by them. What we're doing is we're simply providing a tool for pet parents to basically monetize their data. So it's a way of saying, hey, your data has value and we're giving you the tools to extract value out of it. That data would be used on the ecosystem as a form of an in-app currency. For instance, if you go to a vet, a vet needs to know about your pet's data, not just the vital signs, but the daily activities where you live. This is important information for them. And I know a lot of people adopted pets during the pandemic. So um, that was a huge thing. So, uh, you know, there's a lot more people out there that are pet parents now than there were a year That's ago. Correct. So <laughs> thank you so much, Kareem, My for pleasure. joining us. Very interesting, best of luck. And I look forward to getting an update in the next few months. Thanks for having me, Jane.